Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about grid connected PV system in MATLAB. So this grid connected PV system having two PV system. Uh, that means this is a one PV array. So this is another PV array. Both are going to be connected to the common converter via two boost converter okay each pv array having its one boost converter so here you can see that this pv array consists of 18 parallel string and uh, uh, each um, string having 18 series connected model and each pv panel having maximum power of 340 watts the open circuit voltage is 46.91 volt and the voltage at maximum power point is 38.17 and short circuit current is 9.41 and current at maximum power point is 8.91 the same kind of rating we are using this PV array same uh, 8 parallel string and uh, 18 series connected model both are going to be connected to the uh, DC link. So this is a DC link via this boost converter. So this boost converter, this two boost converter can be designed based upon the power rating of PV array and then voltage rating in the input side and then voltage rating of a uh, DC link. Okay. So here we are going to maintain that uh, DC link voltage around uh, 1000 volt and then here you can see that uh, there are 18 model connected in series in each string and then the voltage is around uh, 687.1 volt okay and then power rating of uh, the first PVR is 489970 watts okay that means 48 by 97 kilowatts so based upon this rating we have to uh, design this LNC value for this boost converter and then this boost converter will be controlled by means of uh, PNO MBPT okay so for that we need to measure the the voltage and current of the PV array and it will be processed via MBPT algorithm okay so this is MBPT algorithm so here we need to measure the power of PV panel and then you have to calculate the del V and the uh, del P so based upon uh, the del P and del V so you have to the increment the uh, increment or decrement the duty cycle okay so based upon the based upon this duty cycle so what will be happen that the maximum power from the PV panel will be extracted okay so next to process so this both PV system will be connected to the common uh, DC link uh, converter okay so this converter will be controlled by means of uh, voltage and current control concept so here we are applying that uh, the voltage control concept so here we have to measure the DC link voltage the DC link voltage will be compared with the reference voltage and then it will be processed via PA controller that PA controller will be provide the, the current reference in the form of a direct axis ok so next we need to measure the, the grid current ok that grid current will be converted into DP0 form ok by using power transformation so after converting power transformation just you have to take only uh, D and Q value so here we are going to control only and D, uh, only D and Q ok so here we are going to uh, control the real power only that means so whatever power generated in the PV array that going to be sent to the uh, grid ok so here you have to take that uh, ID reference from that voltage controller IQ reference will be equal to 0 and here we are comparing that uh, ID IQ actual and the reference and it will be processed via PA controller so this PA controller will be act as a current controller here 
so finally it will be provide the control voltage in the form of uh, dnq so again we have to apply here inverse uh, power transformation in order to convert the dq form into abc form and uh, it going to be processed via next is going to be processed via the pedulium uh, generator two level pedulium generator so it will be generate the pulse for this that is link inverter or this link converter so this is going to be controlled in order to send the power from the pv to grid okay and then here you have the filter inductor okay so this filter inductor going to be designed based upon the dc link voltage and uh, grid voltage so here the grid voltage is 400 volt line to line and 50 hertz and then power rating so here already you know that the power rating of pv is uh, 48.97 okay so there are <coughs> two kind of pv system so is around 48.97 into 2 is around 97.94 kilowatts okay so you have to design uh, and this filter inductor around for uh, 100 kilowatt or 100 kilowatts okay based upon the dc link voltage and uh, grid frequency grid voltage and then based upon switching frequency okay so here we are measuring the and the first pv system uh, voltage and current and power okay so here we are measuring pv voltage pv current and pv power of the the first <coughs> pv array <coughs> so here we are measuring the pv voltage current and power of the second pv array and here we are measuring the uh, grid voltage and grid current inverter voltage and the inverter current so inverter voltage and current will be measured here the grid voltage and current will be measured here and finally here we are measuring the the power of uh, grid and power of inverter okay so now I am going to simulate this model in order to test the system. So initially I am going to uh, keep the irradiation of both PV system or PV array is at 1000 watts per meter square. Uh, we will check the results. Okay. So here I am going to simulate this one. So here uh, we are seeing that uh, the result of the PV1 and PV2 that in PV array 1, PV array 2 and then here it we are seeing that the uh, grid voltage current and inverter voltage and current so here you can see that so based upon the irradiation right current currently we are fixing the irradiation at 1000 watts per meter square so that's why we are extracting the maximum power around around 48 right so we are getting the maximum power for both uh, pv array okay now I am going to change the here you can see that whatever power we are generating right so whatever power we are generating so that going to be uh, sent to the grid and also it going to be processed via inverter ok so and then here you can see that this is a PV voltage and PV current so this is PV voltage and PV current of the PV array 2 and here you can see that this is a grid voltage and uh, uh, grid current so this is inverter voltage and the inverter current ok both are having that means grid current and the inverter current are both are sinusoidal okay there is no harmonic in the the current right grid current and inverter current so now i am going to change the irradiation of the second pv array to 500 and then i am going to check the result so here you can see that uh, here the power is maintained at uh, 48.97 kilowatt so here you can see that the power will be reduced to 50 percentage right so that means 50 percentage of 48.97 kilowatts okay and also you can see here right so this is the the current of uh, second pv array is comes to 50 percentage of the original value and also you can see here right the power injected to the grid via the inverter also here you can see that see it reduced right right uh, so you can see here now also we are getting the sinusoidal current in the grid and the inverter right so next i am going to change the irradiation of the second pv array 
so here I'm going to change the second PVA range radiation to 500 watts per meter square. So next you have to check the result. <coughs> now, now we can see that the first PVA range power is comes to around the 50 percentage of the 48.97. So here also we are getting the maximum power at around 50 percentage of 40, 50 percentage of the 48.97 percentage, right? 97 kilowatts, right? And also you can see that there is, uh, there is a reduction in the current in the first PVA array, okay? And also you can see that there is a reduction in the grid current and the inverter current. Here, here you can see that the power also <coughs> reduced, right? Because of change in irradiation to 500 watts per meter square in both the PVA right so next time I am going to increase the irradiation of the second PVA to 1000 and then you have to check the result so now you can see that because of change in irradiation in the PVA to so it goes to the <coughs> maximum value 48 point 97 kilowatts so and also you can see here right that there is increase in the grid power right and also you can see that there there is a increase in uh, grid current and inverter current okay so now i am going to increase the irradiation of the pvra1 to 1000 watts per meter square and then you have to check the result So now we can see that because of increasing uh, irradiation from 500 to 1000 watts per meter square, so the PV array one power is goes to around 48.97 kilowatts, right? And also you can see that there is increase in grid current and the inverter current, and also you can see that there is increase in grid power and the inverter power because of increasing irradiation in the PV array one. Now both PVR is operated at 1000 watt per meter square. So that means uh, we are extracting the uh, power around 97.94 kilowatts in the PVR I 1 and 2 and that power going to be sent to the grid via that uh, diesel converter or inverter. So this is the operation of uh, grid connected PV system with the two PVR model. Okay. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.